Well, there is a great deal of uh, tension, there's no doubt about that. Um, remember, these are warring factions that had to be brought together and uh, to craft a program, a roadmap, as it is uh, commonly called, uh, towards that uh, February election. Um, some of them were, of course, uh, reluctant participants because they were sticking um, um, to their guns, uh, refusing to talk initially until, of course, um, Sadek threw. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa had to nudge them and get them to where they are right now. As things stand, though, uh, credit must be given to all the parties because they have shown a commitment towards this process. But as you have just said, um, the real issues are going to start discussions around them that is uh, starts only next week. But as things stand, everyone has made the commitment. And it was quite interesting also to see um, the king in action uh, in his own way, of course, because as soon as he arrived, you could see that all parties across the board uh, submitted to him and they saw him as a unifier. And when he sat down and delivered that state of the uh, nation address, he uh, touched on all the key issues that uh, SADC, uh, that South Africa in particular, and everyone uh, who's interested in this process would have wanted him to touch on. He touched on the roadmap and their commitment and the need to continue doing so. He also touched uh, on the key issues that he thinks the political parties should focus on, and that is respect for the law. He also addressed uh, questions around the public service, that the public service as well as the judiciary should also focus on the tasks at hand, and that is to uh, be uh, not drawn into the politics um, of the respective political parties, but to keep their focus on the constitution, underscoring the need for everyone to go back to the constitution, because it is through the constitution that all these warring factions can actually make a meaningful contribution to the future of Lesotho. Elvis? If we look back at the uh, Macero Facilitation Declaration, what are some of the most important terms here declared in that declaration? Well, there are constitutional issues that several parties would have wanted um, this process to touch on. But if you listened uh, to the king, but also if you listen to what uh, the facilitator um, has sort of uh, had to uh, say, it is that big constitutional issues should be put aside. The focus should be on the roadmap. Between now and February, you need to have a budget, right? A budget that to run the country, but also to prepare for that election. So everyone is committing to that, and that is one of the key issues that this parliament would have to deal with over the next uh, uh, few weeks and months. But also, you need to uh, look at whatever obstacles that there may be in the path towards um, um, ensuring that you have that election in February. You have to make sure all the parties have to commit to that process. Now, it's not going to be easy, because from what we're picking up, there are issues issues of you know sustainability of both political of the political parties but also of the individuals who are running or part of those political processes there are people who had seen uh, a full who had thought of a full term there are material things um, that uh, th that are of concern to them given now that you have a, 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 a I mean parliamentarians that are effectively going to have a two-year term there are their material conditions you know matter in this process so so what um, that agreement seeks to uh, 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 push through or to reinforce, it is that people should look beyond their own material interests as individuals, but also beyond the, uh, the, 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 the uh, needs of the various political parties, but to focus on, on restoring democracy through that February election. Elvis? Thank you so much for that update. We're going to cross now.